Hi everyone, my name is Chris and in this video today I'll be looking at Molly Gear, specifically this kind of thing. New, super lightweight, specifically thin, lighter weight Molly Gear. Now, uh, for those of you who have already seen my review of this plate carrier here, this is the Strandhog from First Beer, the second cut. Um, there may be a few bits of repetition here, things I've maybe mentioned before in that video. Um, so I apologise for that, but not everyone's going to see it. If you haven't seen it and you want to see my review of just the strand hook here, just without the pouches, uh, you can click just on the link up here and it will take you through that. But that aside, um, basically what I'm going to be doing is a little bit of a comparison on the weight of two kinds of gear. Uh, we've got on this side the older kind of stuff. This is all pretty much a thousand denier um, from that kind of school of thinking in tactical gear. You know, any, any of you know your gear, and you'd be familiar with that. That's been the sort of standard for quite a few years now. On this side, we've got the new lighter stuff. This is more 500 denier cordura, various other new materials, newer technology. Now, where this will come from? If you watched any of the videos from Shot Show this year, uh, what you will have noticed is certainly from. The point of view of the gear manufacturers, you've seen a lot of emphasis on lightweight, cutting down weight out of all this Cordura. It's a similar thing going with firearms, but more so with the gear. There's not as much you can change on a weapon. If anything, they, those have steadily got heavier and heavier. But there's a bit of a trend of that trying to change now. You've got your LSAT program, you've got um, new lightweight rail systems like the Alpha Rail from Troy, VTAC, all that good stuff, but we'll just talk about gear here. So like I say, you, you've, got, you've got a lot of videos coming out this year from, from the shows of manufacturers they have been debuting and you know now all this stuff is available in the market. You've got Helium Whisper from Blue Force Gear, I mean their 10 speed pouches are already very lightweight but they've made them even lighter. You've got Fight Light from Tactical Taylor, they've gone, you know, the, Pretty much similar designs to what we've done before, but taking it that step down from 1000 denier mostly to making stuff out of 500 denier. Um, we've got First Beer with all their 612 technology, cuts out all the uh, actual Molly webbing straps, so you can not weight bare, various other materials. And the, but you know, it just, there's just a lot of companies out there going for this, um, they're going for this sort of style of kit, changing things up. It isn't a newer thing, as I've mentioned in the Strandhold review, LBT have been making stuff out of 500D for a couple of years already, um, but LBT perhaps well known amongst people who really know their gear, but maybe in the wider community not as commonly used, perhaps a little bit more expensive outside the sort of budgets or something. But the great thing about this lightweight kit is, it doesn't matter who you are, you could be SBS, Navy SEALs, Delta SAS, you could be Combat Controller, Royal Marines, Parachute Regiment, Parachute Jumper, you could be you know, just Army Infantry, you could be a sort of rear echelon military guy like me, you could be a paintballer, airsoft player, hunter, you could literally just be a guy, there's plenty of people out there, they just collect this stuff and do anything with it, they just find it interesting because that's, that's their hobby, you know, more power to them. But it doesn't matter who you are, the less it weighs, if you can get the same functionality out of it, the more the better. So what I'm going to do today is, like I said, I've got more old school stuff here on this side, I've got a kind of newer lightweight kit over here, and um, they're basically, I've got a vest, an armour plate carrier uh, on each side, I've got a belt, molly belt rig, battle belt set up on each side as well, and they're set up. Pretty much is well, pretty much the same, about as close as I could get them. It's not 100% perfect matches, it's going to be a totally scientific test, but it doesn't really need to be. We're just basically looking at all of this stuff, and specifically lightweight, and, and, and this, is, this is just your average, um, using the old style of materials and construction. So we'll start from the heavy side, we'll go through exactly what we've got. Now, Blake Harry here, this is made by Warrior Assault Systems, which is quite popular with British military. And this is their DCS. It's pretty similar for those of you out there that are familiar with the LBT 6094 
I'm not sure which A, B, or C, or D, I can't remember which this equivalent is to, but this is just, it's full molly all around. Um, like I say, it's, this is a more sort of thousand on the it's The difference between the LBT 1694 and this is this is six columns of molly on the back and front panels instead of the eight that the LBT is. So it's a little bit lower profile. That's a Warrior DCS. We've got three HSGI rifle tackle mag pouches on the front here. We've got a general medium pouch, a uh, sort of general purpose utility pouch from Mars back here. On the back, we've got the Patrol Instant Gear Pig 2 litre hydro carrier. Now, this is actually a specific lightweight pouch already, and um, this is 500 denier, very lightweight, um, which, which is the same as you've seen a minute on the Strandhog. So, you know, it, if, if I were to have a 1000 denier carrier on here, that would certainly make the test results slightly different, but we're only talking a couple of grams. So, we've got a Pig hydro carrier, a source 2 litre. WXP hydro bladder on the inside of it. You see the, the source quite a valve in there. And on this side, of ATS vertical utility pouch. That's that side. Paired on this side, I say this is the first spear strand hog. You've got the 612 laser cut inverse molly sort of technology they've used on there. Got and uh, obviously the tube system, but, but you know, check out the review that I did earlier with regards to all of that. So this is a size small magazine pouch. This is a triple Stanag pouch from Blue Force Gear. It's the Helium Whisper backing. Blue Force Gear Helium Whisper again. It's a medium vertical utility. Hydro carrier, like I said, it's the same one as on the DCS. This is the Patrol Instinct Gear 2 litre. I do a pouch, I've got the exact same bladder on the inside, the source, 2 litre WHP. On this side of the strand hog, got two smoke grenade pouches, beautiful ski and whispering in. And that's that, that's the strand hog. So as you can see, pretty similar. I'm moving to the belts now, they're these. On the heavier side of things, more old school, this is the Viking Tactics Bro Course gun belt. On here. On the inside, holding it all together, I've got a Warrior Assault Systems duty belt, quite a thick, chunky old school duty belt, very stiff. For my holster attachment, I've got a G code belt slide here, RTI wheel. Dump pouch is an MDOM MM dump uh, combination um, built by a guy at militarymorons.com and uh, MDOM teamed up to build that pouch through the pouch. Uh, two HSGI pistol size. Attack of mag pouches. Put it down. On this side of the belt is the Tactical Taylor Fight Light Battle Belt. Very comfortable, just gave it a go uh, just day before yesterday, playing some airsoft. Very, very comfortable. On the inside of it, ATS War Belt insert. It's, uh, it's also a lower profile than the Warrior Soul System Duty Belt. It's uh, nice and thin. Not, not particularly stiff, not great for load bearing, but, but just for holding your belt, uh, battle belt together like this, very effective. For the holster mounting at the moment, I've got uh, just a G code Molly mounted RTI wheel. Dump pouch is a tactical tailor, fight light roll up dump pouch. And for my pistol mags, I've got a double pistol 10 speed from Blue Force Gear. Again, huge wish for backing on there, I'm not sure if you can see that, it's the uh, trolley board material. There we go, so hopefully as you can see there, the actual the facilities these two setups give you is pretty much the same. The pouches you can carry would do basically the same things with them. So what we're going to do now, get my highly scientific weighing device here, I'm just going to weigh them up. I'm going to see what the actual differences are. Right, so as you can see, I've got my scale set up here, just uh, just a tray here just to actually place the gear on for weighing it. Got a scale zeroed. They aren't a calibrated device or nothing like that, so it's, this isn't going to be a perfect result, but we're not looking for perfection, you know, a, a couple of grams either way. It's not going to make too much difference. We we'll start on the belt rigs. We'll start on the older style first. Let's put the, uh, the VTAC Bro Post on here. 
and I'll see what that comes to. That is pretty much a kilogram, about 2.2 pounds, all in for the uh, for the broker setup there. Take that off. Scales are still on zero, so we're doing that. I'll put on the Tac Taylor Fight Light belt setup, and let's see what this comes out as. That is about about 700 grams, roughly, roughly one and a half pounds. Good one for the vests. This is the, this is the main one we're interested in, really. Put the DCS up on here. Try and get it to balance, and try and get it to settle slightly without me tipping it. There we go, right. 2.1 kilograms, that's about 4.6, 4.7 pounds. And then we get off our strand hog here. Let's weigh this, see how they compare. Now that is about 1.4, 1.55 sorry kilograms and we're looking just under three and a half pounds so if we uh, get out my calculator here highly scientific what we do is we had we've got about, about 1.55 kilos for the strand hog all set up and if we divide that by the 2.1 kilos that the uh, DCS weighed with all the pouches and then times that by 100 you see the, uh, the fully set up strand hog weighs 73.8% of the fully set up DCS so we're looking at uh, essentially about a 20 27% uh, weight saving there roughly um, 26 26% maybe but it's not bad. I mean, you know, you, you're shaving a you're shaving a quarter of your your load carrying weight off there just by just by using those um those newer designs of pouches. So uh, yeah, hope you found that informative, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time.